OK, Aaron, you're on your way back from a hand injury now. Um, how bad has it been? And uh, do you think you get uh, in the game for Coventry? Uh, that's the plan. Hopefully have a good week of practice here, see how it feels, and uh, and we'll go from there. Obviously a frustrating injury, but uh, part of the game. You, you arrived in this uh, team at the beginning of the season, fit and ready, played strong. I think you got three points in five games. Now you've missed 19 um, have you ever had an injury which uh, has taken you out so long? Or Yeah, throughout my career, I mean, uh, unfortunately, it's just part of it. It happens. Um, and the, the hardest thing is trying to come back. So I know it's, uh, it's going to be a long road, but uh, that's part of the game. I have to come back at some point. It might be frustrating at times, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. And your coaching role on the bench, uh, what have you learned from that exercise? Uh, just a, a different way of seeing the game, you know, as a player, you, you kind of see it a certain way, but as a, a coach, you see a lot more and um, you understand what different coaches see. So um, it, it was, it's been a great experience, um, but I'm looking forward to getting back on the ice too. Are you a coach of the future? Uh, I don't know. It definitely piqued my interest. Um, really? Everyone always says it's, uh, it's the second best thing to playing. So, you know, they're, they're right. The competitiveness is still there and your ability to put a, you know, a program together or a, a strategy together and, and go out there and see if it works. It's, uh, you know, it was it was a good challenge. You'd, you'd not really planned on it before because you'd not finished playing. But when you say you piqued your interest, was it not something that ever occurred to you much? Uh, it did, but I think as a player, you uh, everyone always says prepare for the future. But as a player, you just can, you know, it's inevitable at some point that you're going to have to retire, but you try and avoid that at, uh, at all costs. Right. Um, when you go back to being a player, uh, considering you've been an assistant coach for uh, over them, will they still have to call you sir? And things? <laughs> no, there's no sir. I think uh, I think the guys know uh, I'll definitely be player first and and uh, and there when they need me. Okay. At the moment, there are six in Port D as well as Ben and Davey. So does that sort of signal there's going to be an, an unsettling period possibly for one or even two imports in this team? Ah, no, I think uh, it just shows our team has a lot of depth. And uh, a lot of options. Unfortunately, there's injuries throughout the year, so it's inevitable that there's going to be some rotations. So, um, you know, you just kind of prepare uh, for for all scenarios. We have guys that are able to play forward as well, so um, there's definitely a, the ability to make some movement there. I was thinking more in terms of uh, I don't know how many imports the the, the club will retain mm -hmm. on the wage bill, but sometimes it can be a tricky decision ahead for a coach and an owner, isn't it? When people come back from injury that have been uh, you know, they've had some substitute cover in. Yeah, uh, it's above my pay grade. <laughs> so far. <laughs> That's right. You're right. So. You've got Coventry on Saturday. Now, they've won twice in this building. What, what have they got over Sheffield? Uh, you know, just, just going through and looking back at the games, I just don't think we played our best hockey. They're a good team, and, you know, we, we need to play our best hockey to be successful. So um, it's going to be a good challenge. Uh, they had a big win on the weekend uh, this past weekend, I think 9-2, so... You know, they have some offensive capability as well, so it's going to be a good game. Have you seen any footage of that 9-2 uh, win? Uh, a little bit. Saw some of the power play uh, and, and our PK, so, um, you know, just kind of preparing for that. You've got uh, Glasgow on Sunday, and it's fair to suggest that they will never be as bad for the rest of the season, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I mean, Glasgow had a great start, so you, you just never know uh, this, the teams in these leagues. Anyone can beat anyone now, and it's, it's such a, a strong league, so uh, it's just hard to say you can't take anyone lightly. You've been a bit inconsistent, so when you played Coventry, you were obviously on the up, and when you have played Glasgow, who uh, have an, are top of the league, we have a more precise idea, do you think, of, of where you are in this league, where you are at this moment? Uh, we'll prepare accordingly. I think you know we know the type of team we are, and unfortunately we haven't shown that every game this year, so... You know, our goal now is to get back on track and just continue to play consistent hockey because, you know, we've had some good nights and we have some bad nights. But, you know, this time of the year is where we need some consistency. And when you do personally come back on the ice, will you be rusty? <laughs> I hope not. You do as much work as you can. I've been uh, with Danny uh, skating and, and doing enough in the gym that, you know, you hope there's no rush there. But that's inevitable, especially, you know, coming back from an injury like this. So um, the best I can do is just go out there and, and play my game, and hopefully it uh, helps the team win. What was your worst injury before this in terms of absenteeism? Uh, I broke a bone in my arm, so that kind of kept me out. And then, uh, Which team were you at then? That was back in junior, so back in the 50s. 
and uh, <laughs> 1850. <laughs> but uh, but no, I mean, there's injuries all throughout every year. I think guys will tell you they'll play through injuries all year, and that's just uh, that's part of the game. So this will have been your worst injury since junior, then. Yeah, yeah, it's been my first uh, surgery, so um, it's been a while, but. You know, you try and prepare, like I said, as best possible. And the local practitioners have looked after you, hopefully? Yes, they have. They've done a great job. So, um, like I said, uh, whenever I've had a question, they've been there for me. So, uh, it's been good so far.